But look at Acts 12, 1 through 3. It says, at that time, Herod Agrippa, the king, he laid violent hands on some who belonged to the church. He killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter. Also, this was during the days of unleavened bread. This is at Passover. And then in Acts 12, 4, it says, when he apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after what? Easter? Hello. Well, let's take a look at this. Let me show you something. Okay, this is from Danny Ben Gigi's scholarly master, where what it has on this uh, software that Danny has, we see there's English. This is the New Testament. It's there's English, there's Greek, and there's Hebrew all in one. You can read them. Now, I want you to see this. This is John 18, 39. You have a custom that I should release into you one at the Passover. Remember, we just got done reading that. Now, here it is in the Greek, transliterated and in Greek. And if you know, in Greek, it's called Pascha. You see that? And you can see the Pascha right here. That's Pascha. Pascha is translated as what? Passover. Passover. And it comes from the Hebrew word Pesach. So here is Pesach. And right here is Pesach, the P, the Pe, the Samek, and the Chet. Pe, uh, the bait has to, re, has to do with in Passover or at Passover. Okay, so does everyone understand the Hebrew came first and Hebrew word is Pesach, Pesach. From that, the Greek got Pascha, Pascha. And in English, we have the Paschal lamb, right? Okay, now here we go. Acts 12, 4, here is the Hebrew, the Passover, ha Pesach, ha Pesach. Here is the Greek, Pascha, Pascha. But how do the translators translate it as Easter? How come they translate Pascha as Passover in one verse, but it becomes Easter in another verse? <laughs> Hello. There, that's what I'm telling you. This is what Danny and I are creating this new Bible program for. We're going to be correcting all of the errors in the New Testament, the Hebrew, the Greek, the English. Now, how many of you know, I think as it's coming Tuesday is spring. Yay. Hello, spring. Well, how do we know that March 19th, it's either 19th, 20th or 21st, depending on how things go scientifically. But this Tuesday, March 19th, this spring. Now, I want to explain to you the equinox. Okay, here we go. This is the spring equinox, and it happens when the earth is totally perpendicular. And then in summer, it's at an angle. Okay, so uh, the sun mostly shines on us, the northern hemisphere. Okay, the spring equinox, it's like that. And uh, the earth tilts, but I wanted you to understand. Now, when did this become Easter? A lot of people think it was Constantine in the year 300s. Wrong. It happened much, 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 much earlier. And I'm going to explain this to you. Now, first off, here we go. Okay, this is this year. This is March. Right now, we are doing a Parse, Parse Pacude. Okay, so here we are on the March calendar. Everyone see that? All right, well... The new moon was right here, Rosh Kodesh Adar. This is the, okay, Rosh Kodesh. And so we are a week after the new moon. Now, here is Purim, and Purim is Adar 15, which is a what? Full moon, because it's the middle of the month, right? Now, right here is spring. This coming Tuesday is spring. Here's the problem. Right down there, March 31st is Easter with the Easter bunny. That, that's what their focus is, the Easter bunny and Easter eggs. And now, since that's Easter, they are saying, Christians are celebrating this as the day of the resurrection. Okay? All right. <laughs> yes, they're celebrating the resurrection a month before he dies. All right. I don't know how you do that, but that happens many times. Okay, 
So if that is Easter, do you see this here? This is Adar 29. What day is he supposed to die? Nisan 14, on the full moon. But now Good Friday is here, nowhere near the full moon, a month before Passover. It's the second Adar of 19. It's the 13th month of the year. And so he's supposed to die on the full moon. They not only have the full moon wrong, they have a Dar 19 wrong. If they wanted to be totally disconnected from Judaism. I mean, God says, do this, which is Passover, which is Nisan 14. I want everyone to celebrate the resurrection, but I want them to celebrate it when it happened. Just like your anniversary. Do you want your anniversary celebrated three months later? Do you want your birthday celebrated two months earlier? No. And God has a calendar. He says, this is when. But the thing is this, they wanted nothing to do with Judaism. Therefore, they, had, they didn't know how to figure out when Nisan 14 was. They were dependent on the Jews. So they said, forget that. Here's what they said. The Bible says it's supposed to be in the spring. Therefore, we're just going to do it the first Sunday after the spring equinox. That's what they decided. So here's the spring equinox. And Easter is uh, always going to be celebrated uh, right here. It's, let me see. Yeah, he would have died here. I mean, the whole thing is crazy. They do it based on the spring equinox, not on the Bible.